wrestling fans, this is your friend, Dean Rai Rai, and here's my co-host, Ghost Football, and we're back here with episode 6 of our little show here, and uh, today's going to be our Q&A slash other stuff video, so uh, we'll get started with the Q&A questions right now. Um, YWC Addict 84 asks, are you a fan of ordering pay-per-views? Um, you know, I'll order pay-per-views once in a while, uh, or, uh, I'll catch them online somewhere, or I'll go to Hooters, um, and watch them. Um, what's, what's your opinion on them? Well, I used to order pay-per-views, you know, every single one, when it used to be a lot cheaper, now until they, um, jack the prices. Now, for me, I go to Hooters every single month, and sometimes twice a month, because sometimes they have... Two pay-per-views a month, you know? Sometimes but, even three. Yeah, sometimes three, but sometimes it's two. You know? I like going to because, number one, great food, sexy girls, sometimes. It all depends. Not talking about the waitresses, but uh, the customers. And plus, they have a great atmosphere. I'll give you an example. When Hunter ever come back, when he did, well, Russell, um, his gong, and they, they shut the lights off. That's kind of cool part. You can't, you can't see this stuff at home, you know what I'm saying? You can do that at home. But uh, then, the, whatever. You guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> be quiet, dude. Okay, and what's the other one now? Alright. Is that, okay. And he also asked, what do you think of WWE should lower pay-per-view prices? Um, I think for like WrestleMania and Royal Rumble and Survivor Series and SummerSlam, they should be like 40 bucks and then have like the other pay-per-views be like 25 or 30 dollars, you know. But the HD ones are more expensive too, but that's fine. I don't have an HD TV anyways. <laughs> well, for me, I agree on, on the similar part with Nixos. The WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Subversion is the big four should be expensive, you know, like... No, no more price, I said 40, not like 50. Now the normal ones are not that great, me like... 19 bucks. That'd be kind of cool. But we all know that's never ever going to happen. And WWE just like to make the money. And probably the beginning of 2012, the price is going to go up more. That's why a lot of people like, the people like to go to Hooters or go to a friend's house and just, you know, um, have a couple of friends over and then order them that way, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, this is from Eric Under 29. And he asks, Your all time favorite superstars? Um, I'm going to do my top five. Uh, number one, Edge. Number two, uh, HBK. Number three, Jericho. Number four, Eddie Guerrero. And number five, Stone Cold. What? What's what's your top five, Ryan? Well, this is a very, very uh, terrific uh, decision. You know, my top five. Okay, number five. Should be WF champion. He never was. Mr. Perfect. Great athlete. Had some great rivals. And plus, he was an IC champion. Rest in peace. And number four, Eddie Guerrero. Number three, um, I give some props, Brock Lesnar. I know he had like a little short WWE title, not title run, a WWE title, no, whatever, WWE a career, but great performer. Number two, Eddie Guerrero, number one, The Undertaker. Because Undertaker, he's undefeated at WrestleMania. He has a fantastic career. It does not matter what kind of gimmick he has. He does great. So those are my top five. Um, and now he asks, um, Superstar of the Year? Um, mine would definitely be CM Punk. I mean, he started the year off basically doing nothing. He... Uh, had a match at WrestleMania with Randy Orton, um, and then he went in a thing with Big Show, and he had, um, what should I call it, he was with the Nexus, and then he did the whole thing where he was going to quit, and then he just skyrocketed from there, he won the title twice, and uh, my, probably my second would be Mark Henry, I mean, he came out of nowhere, and he's probably like the best heel in the company right now, so. Well, uh, my superstar earlier is The Miz. Just kidding. 
That's not gonna happen. John Cena probably. Yeah, most likely. Cena, Cena. Cause Rat Rat's a little kid. No, you no. Well, <laughs> my top guy is is Randy Orton because he came a long way ever since he debuted uh, as a. Um, Evolution, and after that he got out of that um, group, and he was, um, you know, he has a great um, group, and then and he did his own uh, group, and it was awesome, you know, so I say um, Randy Orton, and plus he has a great, fantastic Blu-ray and, and a DVD one, so if you don't have it, I recommend you pick up in your collection. And uh, next one, who do you want to win, Cena or Rock? Um... I say I want. I, I'm not really sure, but I think the right thing I think should happen is Rock should let Cena win, and not be like Hulk Hogan and have his ego get in the way. Um, what do you think? Well, I'm sorry, my YouTube friends, but I'm not gonna tell you who's gonna win that match because I will give you my picks for WrestleMania 28. But I can tell you one thing. It's going to be a good match. I Hopefully, it's going to be a great build-up. Okay, everyone? Um, next question is, how would you book WrestleMania? Um, that kind of ties into the last question. We already answered one question about it. Um, and we all know Daniel Bryan's going to be cashing in his money in the bank at WrestleMania. That's what he says. Yeah. Um, I'm not really sure who I want him to face, you know. Probably like Randy Orton or Sheamus or something. Um, maybe, maybe Rey Mysterio will be back by then. He could probably face him, but I'm not really sure. And the WWE Championship match, I think CM Punk's gonna keep it till then. And uh, Chris Jericho's come, gonna come back, and they're gonna have a match. So, what what do you think? Well, what was I saying again? What, what was the question? about WrestleMania, how would you book it? Well, for me, I'll have some fantastic uh, cruiserweights. Actually, it's not cruiserweights, but some uh, decent wrestlers for Mick Carter. And the most focus they want, focus on The Rock and Cena. We all know that already. Did they book this match to win events? And um, we all know that Money Bank is no longer at WrestleMania. Very dumb. I thought at first, when they first got rid of it, no, it won't be a big deal, but I'm missing it. But they got their own pay per view, but I don't know. But what else? Um, that was the best pay per view of the year. Yeah, yeah, true. But usually it's not. But let's go. Let's we'll, we'll see what happens in 2012. What's gonna be the best pay per view of 2012? Yeah. All right. Next question is, what got you into wrestling? Um, now it started for me when. You know, like, I kind of watched it here and there and like, the Attitude Era and stuff, you know. My parents didn't like me watching it, but whatever. Um, but basically it was when I was over at my friend's house for, like, a party. Not right, right. Um, and he had uh, the video game SmackDown Here Comes the Pain. And I really liked it, and I bought it, and then I started watching SmackDown um, when it was still on... Uh, what was that channel? UPN, I think. Yes. Yeah. And uh, they had like Kurt Angle as a GM and stuff, and uh, I thought it was really good. And uh, it basically just built from there. You know, what? Well, how did you start, Aaron? Well, this is back in 1990. Yes, 1990. Dang, you're old. Thanks. Anywho, my brother, my broski. I'm not talking about the Zack Ryder. This is way before Zack Zack Ryder. But anyway, my brother and myself ordered SummerSlam 90. You know, the old school, wrestlers like Hogan, Earthquake, and um, Ultimate Warrior, and um, all the old school wrestlers. Some of the guys in the Hall of Fame, some of them are not. But anyway, uh, prior to that, they had a segment on the Brother Love Show. And I think uh, Earthquake um, destroyed uh, er um, Hogan, you know, smashed him. My brother was very, very upset. Well, what do you expect when you're a kid, you know? And I follow that. I fell in love with the product. And ever since that, boom, buying DVDs, Blu-rays, I went to see the wrestlers live. I got some autographs, you know, autograph session, you know? 
I did all, you know, not at all, but you know, and I went to two WrestleMania so far. He still haven't been to a pay per view. Hopefully soon. But I'm happy my brother got me hooked into this. And I buy the video games, I buy the merchandise, see this? Old school taker. Very cool. Hopefully you could see that. See? So it's very cool. And uh, those were all from Eric under 29. And now here's Rai Rai's questions. Okay. Okay, it's uh, Mick Taylor, 86. What is your favorite WrestleMania event match? Well, I can tell you one Pacific main event. is WrestleMania 20 between Chris Benoit, Triple H, and the Hall of Famer, HBK. It was a great match. The best match of the night because I was there live in the living color. Unbelievable. Too bad Chris Benoit passed away. Actually, he killed himself, but we're not going too much detail on that. But it was a great match. I really loved it. You know, what's your thoughts on that match? Um, that's probably one of my favorite matches too. Um, my my favorite main event match would probably be uh, Taker versus HBK at uh, WrestleMania 26, or um, that one. From WrestleMania 20 or uh, from WrestleMania 18, uh, Rock versus Hogan. Yeah, unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of Chris Benoit, I know I don't want to talk about this. You heard reports that somebody's going to make a movie about him. Mm -hmm. yep. So, what's your thoughts on that, wrestling the fans? What's your thoughts? Um, I don't quick. Know. You know, I don't think they should make it. But, of course, you know. it's all because of the money, money, money. Yeah. You know? I, don't know, I might watch it, I might not. I don't know. Give me your opinion. Should I watch it? Should I not? I know. I want you to check it out, you know? I don't know. Whatever. I guess that's the only way that W could make a. Um, I guess the only time uh, someone gets uh, killed or um, injured, they'll make a movie about it. I think it's pathetic. Okay. You want to read the other one? This one's from YWC Addict 84. And he asks. What DVD slash Blu-ray would you like to see come out in the next year? Um, now I know that the King of the Ring one's coming out next week. That's one I've been looking forward to. Um, and I'd also like to see their. They said they're gonna make a CM Punk one, so I'll probably get that one. And um, probably a, a new Edge one with like an actual like story in it about his career. Because his last one was basically just him talking about all his matches and stuff, you know. What, what would yours be? Well, i really like to see um, some old school um, um, guys who are in the Hall of Fame, like um, Don Morocco. That'd be kind of cool, like a documentary. And some matches I know may have probably made a, a tape a long time ago by the matches. See, I'm not a big fan of matches anymore. I'm a big fan of... Um, Documentaries because you don't see it too often anymore, you know. And another one I like to see is um, uh, about the Randy Orton family this time, just a family. But I think they want to do that because it, um, they did it kind of on the Randy Orton one. So scratch that one out. Uh, who else? Hmm. Maybe uh, some divas um, documentary. That'd be kind of cool. I think they were thinking about doing that, but they dropped it. Uh, another one I like to see is. Um, Finished uh, the Survivor Series uh, anthology. I heard rumors they want to finish it. Do you hear about that one too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, about time. They should have done it whenever. Uh, hopefully, it'll be a Blu ray and DVD form. It'll be awesome. It'll be kind of cool. From what I heard, it's based on like having Owen Hart in it, and I guess his wife doesn't want them making money off of it. Oh, that's why they stopped doing it? Yeah. Oh, okay. But they might still release them pretty soon. If that, like, you know what that means? A lawsuit again. <laughs> yeah. Now, speaking of that, the new Stoke Coast, Steve Austin, the Blu-ray and DVD. Um, oh, um, not Austin. Um, it'd be true, not, I'm sorry. Um, Owen Hart was part of that... Um, un Help me out here. Just part of the DVD? Yeah, yeah, he was part of this... Uh, um, uh, part of the new Austin um, Blu-ray and DVD against SummerSlam. You know, when the tombstone, do you think um, the wife will sue that one again? With no permission? 
Well, it wasn't really a big part of it. So. But still, yeah. yeah. She she got mad about the Heart and Soul DVD because he was like a big part of that one. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, God. You know what? Cry me a river. <laughs> Jesus. I know it's a big mess, but still, come on. Let bygones be bygones. People make mistakes, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, And the last question is from the WWE fan. Uh, one zero one three, and he asks, "Who is better, Legend Killer Randy Orton or Viper Randy Orton?" Uh, in my opinion, it was Legend Killer uh, Randy Orton when uh, when he was with uh, his dad as his manager and um, on SmackDown, he was doing stuff with Undertaker and. He was in the main event of WrestleMania. Not the main event. He was in uh, the title match in WrestleMania 22. Uh, that was probably my favorite uh, version of him. What about, what about you, Riley? Let me see that. Well, I, I agree. I prefer, Le uh, not Legend Killer, uh, Viper. Because right now, he's on the roll. Now, when, when he was Legend Killer, I guess he didn't like the guys in the back room, in the backstage, and a lot of people don't like him. Because I guess he was a had bad temper, and I guess he's a big family man now. So I like Viper, and plus his uh, documentary just came out recently. I recommend you pick it up on Blu-ray or DVD. And um, your favorite Orton match? Hmm. I think um, when he became the first ever youngest world champion when he f f uh, faced Chris Benoit at SummerSlam 04. Good match, of course. No, he's not talking about that because Chris Benoit is not. Longer what does some more, you know, big mess, you know. But I'm not gonna discuss it anymore. What's your favorite match? My favorite match is um, probably his Hell in a Cell match with Undertaker, or his uh, hardcore match against Mick Foley at uh, Backlash 2004. That was really good. Yeah. Um, since we're done with the questions now, we'll just go on to other random stuff. Oh yeah, speaking of the, of the Foley. Work matched. Let me go. Let me go find it for you, everyone. Okay, be all right with you. Nick, we'll keep talking. Yeah. Yeah. This title back here, you know. Uh, I, I won this thing from uh, Rai Rai um, a couple months ago. Um, I beat him in SmackDown versus Raw 2011. Won the title from him. And the David Otunga ad from TLC is on uh, TV right now. But uh, I, I won this title from him, and uh, now it's mine, not his. So um, he can't do anything about it because I'll just beat him up. Did you find the DVD ever? Right? Yes, I finally found it. It took forever. <laughs> Anywho, here's the front cover. Chris Benoit. There was the back of it. There was the inside cover slip. DVD, that's one cover steps, it was awesome. Now, I really like this DVD. Now, the match, Nick just mentioned a few minutes ago, um, Randy Orton versus uh, Cassie Jack in a hardcore match, hardcore match for the entire Carmel Championship. This is a great build-up. I really, really love it. I think prior to that, or beginning of 04, um, Randy Orton spinning Cassie Jack, am I correct? Yes, it was good. And he uh, threw him down some stairs, or was that during the match? No, no, um, it's, um, I forgot, it was December 04, okay. and then that's how I built up to WrestleMania 20. Yeah. So good one. If you have this in your possession, or you don't, I recommend you pick it up. Yeah. Good DVD. I, uh, I saw that disc replay one time, and I almost bought it, but I didn't have enough money, and I'm, I really want it now, so. Yeah, but it's gone already. Yeah, it, it was a while ago, so, yeah. Oh, you could probably borrow mine. Yeah, I could. I don't, I'll I don't just mind. keep it forever. Yeah. Okay. What else do you want to discuss? Um, this past Monday on Raw, they did a new uh, WWE Network ad, and they were talking about the new reality show where they're gonna have a bunch of legends living in a house. I think that's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Who Who do you think they're gonna have in the house? Well, maybe Piper. I'd love to see Ric Flair, but he's still a part of TNA contract. Um. Iron Sheik. Iron Sheik, I heard. I like to crazy. see, um, what else? No, sorry. Iron Sheik's crazy. Yeah. Now, speaking of him, my friend, actually, my sister's best friend, 
She's a, a, a flight attendant. So, guess who was on a flight? Iron Sheik. So he was talking nuts. And he was not in the character. I guess all the uh, times he was uh, shot in the head, you know, whatever. He's very uh, weird. That's my my sister's best friend said. So, I don't know, you know, I don't know, whatever. They, they could probably have, like, Ted DiBiase in there. Maybe. And, so you know, and another part is, like, to see, um, Dragon, you know? Steamboat? Well, not Steamboat. Who's the guy? Ultimate Dragon, right? Not Ultimate Dragon. Um, Ricky is Steamboat. Ricky. The Dragon's guy. Yeah. yeah, and too bad Marshman passed away. He'll be in it, too, but, oh, well. Um, I think you should have, like, Virgil. Virgil. Maybe Bobby, if Bobby's still healthy. Bobby, uh, some managers. Paul Bearer, that'd be kind of cool. Um, Jimmy. I don't know if he's. Jimmy I think he's. Hart? Yeah, I think he's. I think he's part of WWE right now. Because yeah. I think a couple of months ago he left the uh, TNA. Yeah. Maybe uh, they could have like Repo Man or. No, I don't know. Freaking Jobbers. <laughs> Jesus, I want some or, guys uh, who are um. Damian Demento. Or... Oh, I know. Um, get um Paul Heyman. There you go. Brooklyn Brawler. Paul Paul Heyman in there. Put some. some this is what I want to think. Put some um some legends, some managers, and some um. Some old school divas, like they maybe Lita. Uh, May Young. God. She, she'll be uh, having sex with all the other guys. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, um, let's go to see here. What, what do you think about the, the different ads they've been having on uh, Raw with like... Uh, the promos? The, like, the... January 2nd, they're going to have someone come back. Well, the first one, okay, I thought it was a, um, I thought it was a, oh boy, here we go again. No, I thought he was just going to have no mask on, you know. But the second one, when the kids, and when those, um, uh, uh, two boy and a girl, I thought it was just a freaking garage because there's no WWE logo in the corner. So, I have no idea. So, I missed the first one. The second one, I saw. So, now, for my opinion, I think it's the Undertaker, that man, because he's he does anything. Backlash 2000, you know, you know, American Badass. Now I heard reports that it could be American Badass, you know, but how is this gonna work in this kind of um, era, you know, PG era? How is that gonna work? It's not, is it? See, I don't know. It might work. Maybe they wanna bend a little bit because I don't know. I think eventually we'll have TV 14 back. It's it's a slow process. It's gonna happen eventually. I, I think it's Jericho, and he'll uh, face CM Punk at WrestleMania, and it'll be awesome. Now, do you think it'll be a, for the belt or non-belt, non-title match? I think it'll be for the belt. This going to be a good match. Now, if you watch my unboxing video, I have a little article in my paper. Hopefully, you guys um, um, watch that. Sometimes I don't I don't understand any big words, so hopefully you guys understand, okay? Now, uh, next year at WrestleMania, I really hope they do Stone Cold versus CM Punk. That would be awesome. Now, I know they've been arguing on Twitter. We, we all know in real life that Austin could destroy Punk. But in, in the wrestling world, Punk's going to destroy Austin. Number one, Austin has two bad knees. And, um, and I think uh, that Punk's more younger. Not younger. I don't know how much younger, but I don't know. It all depends if they could book this match. Now, I recently got my new W12. If you saw my unboxing video... Oh, well, I kind of ruined it for you. But here it is. Here's the the front of it. Back. Here's this. And I got the the rock. I got a lock. I still got a lock. I got time still, but it's a good um, video game. I think it's the best one that WWE ever made since probably uh, what's your old school ones? Um, here comes the pain. Uh, just bring it. Uh, know your role. Uh, just regular SmackDown. Yeah, this uh, yeah, this is a, this is good. I only play a few matches, but if you want to add me on PS3, my username is ryry 32 It'll be down there in the description box. What about you, man? Tell everybody um, yours. My uh, Xbox 360 gamer tag is Relentless GTFO. Uh, GTFO is all caps, and they're two separate words. Yeah, it'll be down there too, everyone. So. Okay. I'll put it in like comments or description box or something. Yeah, he doesn't have this game yet, but total games you have real quick. I, I could play you in like Call of Duty or Mortal Kombat or Marvel vs. Capcom 3 or uh, any any sports game. If we have the same sports games, you know, I'll play you in those, you know. Yep. Yeah. Um, anything else? 
Okay, um. Now, this is a good DVD. I don't know if anybody has this in their collection. Do you have this? Yeah. This is a good DVD. I think. Do you have four or three? Oh, here's. Uh, I think I have three. Now, for me, I got a freaking bonus disc. Because you got it at Circuit City, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. Before they went under. So I guess it's rare. I'm not too sure if you can buy this online. With a, first with a Ford, can you? I don't know. This is just... This is not really a documentary, is there? Yeah. Okay, well, this is good. I love it. I'm going to watch this sooner again. Great. If you are a Piper fan, I recommend you pick it up. Yes, I'm doing two DVDs in one video. Isn't that awesome? Don't get used to it. Um, What else? Now, if you, if you have Madden 2012, maybe we can play it very soon. I know my friend Go Dizzy has it. My other friend named Jordan has it. It's good. Um, you can hear some of the uh, TV. Now, this Monday night is going to be Seattle versus St. Louis. One of my friends named Alex is going to be alive in Love and Color. I know he doesn't watch my YouTube videos anymore, but hopefully you have fun, my friend. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm looking forward to get that King Ring DVD. It looks good. Plus, it's an awesome cover. What's your thoughts on that real quick? The cover of King Ring. What? The cover of King Ring. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool. Like, it has all the people on it. One part they don't have, uh, my friend Stephen Breach um, said something to me. He texted me a few weeks ago. They don't have Owen Hart. You know the reason they don't have Owen Hart? Because the whole lawsuit. So, I understand that. But they should put him in there anyway. Mm -hmm. But... You know, just a picture, come on. You don't have to put them in, in the DVD, just put them in the cover. But whatever. But, um, I think I'm doing pretty good on YouTube. What about you? How many, how many subs you got right now? Uh, I forget. Well, both <laughs> our links will be in the description box, mine and his. So maybe down the road, we'll do, um, more Q&As. But hopefully you guys be more prepared. Yeah. I mean, it's not really a big deal, but we have more questions, but... At least we can talk more stuff and make this video a little longer. You know, I don't want to make like a four-minute video say, Goodbye, guys. See you guys in the next video. But we don't want to do that. Yeah. Um, if, if you don't send any questions, I'm just going to get right, right in the head with this title. Oh, so, if you want to see that, send in your questions. Yeah, down below, our private message. You know, he's not really hurt me. If he doesn't, oh, well. <laughs> I know where he lives. I just give him the rock bottom. Or in my case, it'd be the right, right bottom. So, it would be uh, nice. Spectacular. Uh, we, we also just got the first snow. Yeah. It snowed for the first time. Yep. Here. So we got that too. That's why we aren't doing our video somewhere else. Like we usually do it outside or something or somewhere else, you know. But it snowed and it's like really cold out. It's like 20 degrees or something outside. So It's going to be good for football games this Sunday. Can I wait? Yeah. And what do you think about that... Um, uh, um, Triple H, uh, Kevin Nash, did we discuss that already? No, we haven't. Okay. All right, all right, I, I think it's stupid. You know, Kevin Nash can barely walk as it is. How is he going to get up a ladder? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. I, I think this whole storyline is going to be... I think this whole storyline between Triple H and Nash is unbelievable. I really like it. But most likely it's going to be um, Triple H, but we'll find out. Now, the rumor is I've heard that it won't be at TLC, it'll be at Rumble. I guess they'll be changing their mind. Maybe they're just a rumor. You heard about that one too? I thought it was going to be at TLC. Oh, I heard at Rumble. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. Well, but we'll find out. It might be a decent match. Yeah. But, um, you got anything else? Oh, yeah, one more thing. I heard WWE is going to bring back the NWO. I, I guess that's not going to happen now, is it? Because um, our troops is suspended. And remember that? The whole music? Oh, yeah. Well, he's still using the music. So. Is he? Oh. So yeah. maybe something big going to happen soon, huh? I don't know. I think he's just using the music because he can't use the diesel music. You know? Why? I don't know. He's not diesel. He's Kevin Nash. Okay. Um. Now, if you have me on Facebook, I have a brand new video. Plus, I have a... I put some music in the, when I be, before I start talking. So please check out. It's on today's edition, okay? I'm not going to put my link on my Facebook because I will have so many like people I don't know. So please don't get upset with that. Um, that's about it. Now, Nick, what kind of belt you want to get in the near future? Um, probably going to get this one right here. 
Or I'm gonna get the Attitude Era one that like uh, Stone Cold had and the Rock had and stuff. The Eagle? No, the the Attitude one that's like blue and stuff. Okay, now for me, I know belts are expensive. Maybe down the road I want to get the classic Intercontinental Championship or um, maybe one half of the tag team. No, I'm not gonna get no Divas belt. I'm not a pansy, so okay. I'm gonna get one of those. Are you? Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the Divas belt with the butterfly on it. Are you really? Wow. Okay. I gotta talk to him off camera. But anyway, <laughs> um, I don't know. I know belts are expensive. I know one of my friends on YouTube had like what four belts. His name is I forgot his name is. Oh yeah. Before I let you guys go, I made our our um, Facebook private group called W Talk. You guys know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Now that video will be on W Talk, okay? On that private one, okay? It'll be on YouTube, but it also will be on um on W Talk, okay? Please comment down below. I really like your opinions, your thoughts. And uh icon is when CM Punk won the belt at Money Bank, okay? So what's your thoughts about this W group I made a few days ago on Facebook? I think it's pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully everyone um, put any kind of wrestling video. It could be from WWE, TNA, WCW, ECW, or some discussions, okay? So go ahead, finish talking real quick. You know, I think it's pretty cool too, you know. A bunch of people are in, we can just talk about wrestling, you know. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yep, that's awesome. Now, if I'm on a group, maybe Nick could take over. I don't know if, can you do it without I'm in it? Because I'm the one who uh, ran it? I don't know. Well, well, you guys could uh, post stuff on my on the wall, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that's about it for episode six. And I'll let everyone when is episode seven gonna be? Probably sometime after Christmas and the New Year. Yeah. It's, it's really busy around that time, and I know we'll both be busy. So. Yep. Yeah. So I'll see you guys sometime in 2012. It'll be sometime in January, okay? So it won't be like the summer. It'll be definitely in January, right? Yeah. Okay, see you guys next year in January of 2012. Now, if we don't see you guys anytime soon, have a Merry Christmas and have an awesome New Year from your friend, Team Rai Rai, and... Go Super Bowl. Later. See ya.